Thank you for turning into another episode of WGC Fits. Today we are going to be looking at the Titleist T200 irons. Now this is something that I think really caught some headway last year when we started using it. And this year I would say so far from a fitting perspective it has not missed a beat. Um, this is a club that I like to use a lot when someone needs help getting the ball up in the air, someone doesn't really want a bigger profile or anything like that. Um, kind of a really kind of think solid staple at this point in the player's distance window. Now, from a tech perspective, we're looking at very, very similar to what we had last year. So forged face, 30.5 degrees aloft. I think it's a pretty clean, crisp profile. Um, dual tungsten weighting in there, so toe and heel weighting to kind of really maximize MOI. We have the Vokey inspired sole, which is something that they're doing on all of the irons this year. Um, something that really kind of shows that they really care about and are trying to kind of make sure we have proper ground kind of contact, if you will. Um, and that's always a good thing. And then lastly, we have the hollow body still, which is important for a club like this to kind of maximize ball speed. So Captain Ball Speed, talking about ball speed, what do you think? Reminds me of an AP2. Yes, it does. Because I was actually looking at my old ones yesterday. There you go. Uh, in preparation for this, but it reminds me a lot of the slight offset and slight chunk, not as just, much as just, the 250. Yeah, just, just like a touch of a thicker top line, yeah. but I actually don't think it's a bad top line. No, it's fine. Reminds me of my um, utility iron. Mm -hmm. Now, they do make this in a utility build, just like yeah. they did last year. Um, so the T200 is available in a utility build, in a three iron, which four is, iron. I think it's 234, two, three, two, three, I think. Um, we'll, we'll have a separate video reviewing those, so um, don't quote me on that exactly, but that will be here. Um, now, what I'll say is, from a fitting window, this is one of my favorites because this club can really get the ball up in the air when guys need it and they have some speed. Um, really, really good for that, actually. There's a kind of shaft that I like to put in this that just makes it very easy to get up in the air for players. So, as someone who pays a lot of attention to landing angle, that is something that I care about. So. Mr. Ian, let's see what you got here. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. and so you can see a little bit of height we were talking about there. Yep. That's pretty good, man. Went a little higher, it looked like, than the uh, 350. Yeah, and it's a little bit weaker in loft, so yeah. that doesn't surprise me, you know? Yeah, I'll take a 1 4 smash factor. One four smash off an iron is pretty impressive. Especially considering my target's around 1.3. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I might be switching. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ian might be getting happy, guys. Now this is an interesting one because I haven't put these two clubs back to back like this. Yeah. Um, the sound's a little bit more muted on this compared muted, to yes. the 350. Not as loud. Mm -hmm. I did hit that one a little uh, behind the ball. But. Yeah. Wasn't, wasn't the best strike. Yeah. But you got away with it. How's the spin on this thing? So on the spin one. on this thing based on this is probably going to be fairly low. Fairly low? Fairly low. And that's again, when you got a center of gravity that's higher up on a club face, and you make it a hollow body design, you're gonna lose some spin. That's why they go higher, because you need to kind of make up for that somewhere in yeah. terms of stopping power. I guess I should say, spin is gonna be a little bit lower compared to the rest of the line. Yeah, that was in the air for a while. Maximize carry here. Yeah, that one went, that mm -hmm. was in the air for a while. Mm -hmm. I like that one. What do you think about the shape? Oh, kind of looking great. down at it, not too bad? Yeah, I mean, again, I played AP2s for two years. It looks like those. And I like those. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Now, you should be, with this club, kind of start to be able to kind of work the ball a little bit. So we'll do a... Oh, you want me to hit one? We're, 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 we're going to do a patented Ian ball flight test. That one went really far. But again, that's that I low. I hit it right on the screws. That's that low spin number yeah. we are talking about, right? This one's got a little bit of that low spin in there. All right, try to hit it low. Uh, no, give me another normal one. Then we're going to do a low, high, a draw, and a cut. Oh, well, we got the cut down. Oh, 
Oh, just slightly pulling. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, overall, basic shots. Loved it, honestly. Yeah. No, I mean, that, that reminds that grouping, me of my AP2 so much. That grouping is pretty decent, considering this club's got a little extra horsepower in there, you know? Um, okay. Strong like bull. <laughs> yeah. Let's see the uh let's see the low here, right, Ian. All right, what are you what's your target? Uh like, low for 125 average. Let's go. Can we get under 80? Can we get under 90? How far do you want it to go? Roughly the same. 170 plus carry. I'm just glad I went straight. <laughs> that did go. I hit it good. Straight. I mean, it's just luck. Give me 89. Hey. Right under 90. Woo. Perfect. Okay. Now, now give me a high. Oh no. 135. I'm hoping to see. Oh. <laughs> so high. <laughs> It has left the screen, so we'll see. <clears throat> oh, 136. There we go. Yeah. 155. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> okay, now give me a give me a draw. Oh, give me the. Okay, I've been actually hitting these good. Mm hmm. Because I know what kind of what I'm doing. Yeah. Look at that. That's the best patented Ian draw I've ever seen. We've uh, we've been practicing the Ian draw. That that's more than half a yard. I know. The, you could actually play that. Almost work around a tree branch with that. Yeah. Not a whole tree yet, but a tree branch. Just one bang. <laughs> Maybe a leaf. <laughs> Maybe a leaf. Yeah. All right, let's see the cut. Give me a good cut here. We'll try to get it to the 150. Oh yeah, 150. Hit the card. So the oh. club seems quite responsive to what you're trying to do, right? Dude, I, this is actually a really fun club. That's actually really good because, right, with a club like this that has a little bit of extra horsepower in there, right, sometimes, and, and you know, if I'm testing clubs and everything like that, right, sometimes these get a little bit difficult to yeah. kind of make work like that for you. Doesn't seem like you're having much issue with no, this. this. It seems pretty, like it's relatively easy good. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's a good thing, man. That's a really good thing. So, so far, you know, like I said, it doesn't seem like this club's really missing a beat compared to where they were last time. I think they cleaned up the look even maybe a little oh, bit look, better. It looks great um, on the back. The feel, the sound, everything that's got a good. It's got the bag of feel. You know, what the ground interaction feel like? Did it feel like you were getting smooth. caught or pretty smooth going smooth. through there? Even yeah, on see? the low one, it was pretty smooth. Mm -hmm. It, it seems pretty good, man. This is a club that I think is going to do quite well for him this year. Yeah. You know, is it Ian approved? Ian approved. It's AJ approved. And? It's a good club. And? And WGC approved. There we go. There we go. <laughs> All right, guys. If you're interested in the T200, um, whether from a fitting perspective or you just want to come out and try them, come see us at WGC, and we will get you set up, man. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.